I'm going to demonstrate how to export data from Pedigree Master into an Excel spreadsheet. Most of us are familiar with using Microsoft Excel um, and using spreadsheets. And getting your data into a spreadsheet is a great way that you can do some sorts, um, any calculations you might want. It can really help out um, handling your data and making your selection decisions. So from the home screen of Pedigree Master, we'll simply, simply click on Reports and Utilities. Under Reports and Utilities, we'll click on Data Files. And over on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a box that says Copy and Append Data. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a copy of the database and then open that up in Excel. So since we're interested in making selection decisions, we're going to focus mainly on the Estimated Breeding Values database. If you happen to want to look at your raw data in an Excel spreadsheet, you can copy the main database. That'll be all the data that you actually put in uh, to Pedigree Master yourself. But again, we're interested in making selection decisions, so we're going to work with the Estimated Breeding Values Database. We're simply going to click on Copy. Then a dialog box will come up that asks you to filter um, which data we're looking at here. So if you happen to have multiple breeds on NSIP, you can select uh, which flock ID you're looking to, uh, to export. You can also filter by year of birth. So say if you want just all of your 2015 born uh, yearlings, uh, you can select 2015. If you want to look at just your rams or just your replacement females, you can select those. Um, you can also, if you're looking to look at your, your sold list or your shipping list, you can look on solds or calls. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to look at everything. So we'll select all for everything. Then we'll simply click on copy. And then another dialog box will come up that shows you where that database was exported to. So it always gets exported to the C drive. Okay, your local disk C. Under your C drive, there's a folder called Sheep Genetics. Within Sheep Genetics, there's a Pedigree Master folder. And then within that folder, there's a file called Exports. And then the actual file is right here at the end. Um, that's the file we just created. And note that it's in a .dbf format. So it's a database format. That's going to become important when we go to open that data up. So we click on OK. And then we'll open up Microsoft Excel. And then we're going to go through and find that file that we just created. So we'll go to File, and we'll go to Open, and then we're going to click on Browse. We said that it's saved on our local disk C, so we'll click on that. We said it was in the Sheep Genetics folder, so we'll open that folder under the Pedigree Master folder, and another folder called Exports. Okay. And you'll notice that the file we just created doesn't show up here yet. And that's because Microsoft Excel is looking for Excel files, okay, but we say we said that it was saved as a database file, so we need to change what we're looking for. So we select this drop-down menu. We said it was a database file, so we come down here and we select DBase files. Okay, once we select DBase files, that export we just created shows up for us. So then we can just go ahead and open that up, and then we have all of our data, all of our estimated breeding values. So it lists our ID numbers, the sire IDs, the uh, dam IDs, and then all of the estimated breeding values. Okay. So again, we just opened up a database file. Okay. So when we go to save this or close this out, we can save this as an Excel file. So say I want to just save it uh, onto my desktop, and we're going to save it as an Excel workbook rather than a database file. Okay. So we just simply click on Save, and now we have all of our data into an Excel spreadsheet, and we can do any sorts or any calculations that we need.